Gating is a process of identifying subsets of populations in histograms. Once we have defined regions, we can use them in simple or complex Boolean gate expressions. This tutorial will explore how we use Boolean gate expressions in WinList and how we use cascade gating to accomplish them automatically. Let's begin. Click the Open FCS File button on the ribbon bar. In the File Open dialog, navigate to the Samples folder, select bcell tube 001, and click Open. The Create Histograms dialog will appear, and we'll click Cancel to open the file without creating any histograms. Click and hold the mouse button down in the Data Source window, and with the mouse button down, move the mouse to define the size and location for a new histogram window. Release the mouse to finish the histogram drawing operation. The Edit Histogram dialog is then displayed. Choose Forward Scatter Area for the x-axis and Side Scatter Area for the y-axis and then click OK. Click the Freehand region in the Histogram toolbar and draw a region around the population shown. To draw a freehand region, click next to the population of interest and hold the mouse button down. To finish drawing the region, click on the point where you started. Notice the red bullseye in the middle of region R1. This is the cascade gate hotspot used to gate another histogram based on this region. Click the cascade gate hotspot in R1. The red hotspot will change to green and you can now move the mouse to an empty portion of the data source window. Click, hold, and drag to define a new histogram window and when you release the mouse button, the Edit Histogram dialog will appear. Select CD10 for the x-axis and CD20 for the y-axis. Click OK and now note that this new histogram is automatically gated on R1. Now, let's draw a region in this new histogram and use it to create another gated histogram. Draw a freehand region in the CD10 by CD20 histogram to identify a subset of the events, and then click the Cascade Gate hotspot in R2. Click, hold, and drag to again define a new histogram window. In the Edit Histogram dialog, select CD10 for the x-axis and CD45 for the y-axis. Click OK. The new histogram is now gated on R1 and R2, meaning that only the events that are in both R1 and R2 will be displayed. This is an example of restrictive gating. Now, let's use a convenient way of arranging histograms on the workspace. On the View tab, click the Tile button and choose Histograms. The histograms will now be arranged to make better use of the available workspace. What events would we see if we looked at events that are in R1 or R2? To create this type of gating condition, we'll write our own gate expression using the Edit Gates dialog. Click, hold, and drag in an empty portion of the data source window to define a new histogram. In the Edit Histogram dialog, once again select CD10 for the x-axis and CD45 for the y-axis. Click OK. The new histogram is ungated at this point and we'll use the Edit Gate dialog to create a gate expression for R1 or R2. Click the Edit Gate button on the ribbon bar to display the Edit Gates dialog. Select the Gate 5 entry in the list. In the Equation Edit box, type R1, then click the OR button and type R2. Click the OK button to close the Edit Gate dialog. At this point, we have edited the gate expression for gate G5 so that it will include any events that are in either R1 or R2. Click the Gate Tool button on the Histogram toolbar and select Gate 5 from the list to apply the new gate. As you can see, the histogram gated on the OR gate has more events because of the inclusive nature of this Boolean gate expression. This would be a good time to once again arrange the histograms on our workspace. Let's go back to the Edit Gates dialog and select Gate 6 in the list. In the Equation Edit box, delete the current equation. Click the NOT button to insert the Boolean NOT operator and type R1. Leave the dialog open. 
With G6 selected in the Edit Gate dialog, click on the title bar of the last histogram. Then click OK to close the Edit Gate dialog. The events that are now shown in this histogram are all those that are not in Region R1. Let's suppose that you want to exclude debris defined by R1, for example, and include events that are in either of two other regions, R2 and R3. The gating expression would be not R1 and R2 or R3. In winless syntax, this would be written as not R1 and paren R2 or R3 close paren. Note that we have just defined gate 7. Click OK to close the Edit Gates dialog. Let's again create a new histogram in the workspace. We'll select CD10 for the x-axis and CD45 for the y-axis once again. Now we can apply the more complex gate expression that we defined in gate 7. In this video, we've had a look at a number of ways that you can create and apply gates with WinList. Cascade gates are created and applied automatically when you click on a region's cascade hotspot and draw a new histogram. We also examined how you can define gate expressions that use the Boolean OR and NOT operators and how parentheses can be used to create more sophisticated gating expressions. Thanks for watching.